Judah. No oh, way. Thank God. What happened? How'd you lose her? I didn't lose her. What is that supposed to mean? It's too old to be doing that. <laughs> Mike sucks ass, so it's amazing to watch him. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the night shift. You're working late, and so are we. It's time to clock in. And by welcome to the night shift, I also mean welcome to our brand new pad here in Hollywood, Los Angeles, California. As you guys remember at the end of last week's episode, I had made some statements and I had some concerns about our living arrangements for the near future. You're homeless? Homeless. Well, guess what? Those concerns have been solved. Today, I'm really- Turn the light on. Sorry, it's behind the, it's behind the TV. Hold on a second. Ah. Uh, so yeah, so I just wanna walk you guys through it and show you how we've been living lately. So this is basically the kitchen. My favorite thing to do is to sit in this chair right here and to look at the toilet, uh, which is, which is basically in the kitchen. The one thing that you will notice right off the bat is it is a little bit smaller, but we like to call it cozy. So this is the master bedroom. Uh, I gave it to David. It's a little close to the street. Did We're, you hear the sirens this morning? Yeah, I heard the sirens. You hear the gunshots last night? Yes. If you want to get out of bed and quickly get in the shower, I mean, you take one step, you're out of the bed into the shower, which you can't open because it's blocked by bags. Say you're in the bedroom, you take a quick shower and you quickly want breakfast, you're right back at the, <laughs> at the bananas. But now I want to show you where the king stays. Welcome to my bedroom. And now a word from our sponsors. Boys, I don't care how old you are, you're never too old for some good old quality gaming. And Raid Shadow Legends is and has been the first game to bring true console quality to the phone. So I've been playing this game a lot in my time here in the Hollywood Trap House and I usually use these two champions. One is Turvold. He kind of reminds me of Logan except he actually wins fights. And like Logan, he's a big guy and he's one of the hardest hitting damage dealers in the entire game. I also use Battle Sage from the High Elves faction. One, because she's super hot, and two, because she's perfect for killing spiderlings in the spider's den. And guys, there's never been a better time to start in raid, and so if you click the link in the description below or the QR code on the screen right now, you'll get a free starter pack worth almost $30. We're talking a free epic champion by the name of Virgis, 200K in free silver, one energy refill, and one XP boost, and an ancient shard. So yeah, all this treasure is waiting for you at the link in the description below. Go check out Raid Shadow Legends and let's get back to the night shift, baby. Got the full his and his sink. If I be washing one hand here, I can wash the other hand here, which I will do from time to time just to kind of get a little of its own action on both hands. But let's be honest, the main touch of this room is the bed itself. There's only really one way to get into it and that's to kind of launch yourself. You're surrounded by two walls. You could reach out, you could touch them. You know, if you get lonely in the middle of the night, which obviously I do from time to time because no girl would ever fucking step into this Three shit. girls total slept over. Two in yours, one in mine. Within right. a week, that's solid. One more treat for you guys today and that's gonna be the backyard at this place. Well, the backyard slash laundry room. Our backyard is also happens to be the neighbor's house, which, you know, some will say, well, that's weird. Like you can see inside their windows and that's not cool and probably is can can be considered like criminal at some points which we've got our orange tree which we sometimes will get oranges from most of them are moldy and eaten by rats but and then of course you've got the uh i wouldn't call it in sweet i would call it out of sweet washer dryer uh, this is some trend setting shit i think in the next like 10 to 15 years you're gonna see a lot more houses doing the outdoor washer dryer oh shit ghetto bird flying over I looking for a uh, for, uh, criminal. The Airbnb and month-to-month -month housing situation here in Los Angeles is a fucking disaster right now. You can't find shit. Uh, but I guess the takeaway here is like, whatever you're living in, whatever your living situation looks like right now, it's all about how you look at things. I've been being silly over the past couple minutes with it, but it's it's actually uh, it's actually a pretty dope spot. And it reminds me of being back at home in Connecticut. So anyways, maybe after I leave here, I'll give you guys information on it. So if you're ever looking for a place that you can get out of bed, right into your shower, you know <laughs> where to go. <laughs> right now we're picking up this girl, Ashley Got. You may remember her from past episodes of the night shift. What the fuck is this guy in the van doing, bro? He's losing it. Is that a master lock on the back of the van? That's where they put the children in. Is that a Wayfair van? Oh. Did they ever figure out if they actually did put kids in those cabinets? We are so far off track here. <laughs> Holy shit. You guys might remember this girl Ashley Got, as I was saying. I want to tell you a fun fact. You know what Got means in Turkish? What? Ass. If you get me off track one more fucking time with this story, <laughs> the one thing I've noticed in the past with girls that I hang out with, there's something about them meeting Jeff Wittick that really throws things off. My guess is it's because of his drop dead good looks. It's his drop so, kicks. 
Bro, you, you're cut off. You, you have no, you can't say anything else today. Look what she wears to hiking, dude. Like, what the? It's so cute. Yo, we're going to meet a friend of mine right now. What kind of friend? A friend of mine. He's like a, another YouTuber. My bad, I'm late. I was doing martial arts training and flipping some NFTs. Hop on in, Jeffrey. This is Ashley. Nice to meet you, Ashley. Nice to meet you. How's your day going, brother? Good, bro. Just been fucking trading NFTs, training martial arts. He's pretty funny, huh? <laughs> Are you ready for this? I am so ready. You come here a lot? I literally went on a hike yesterday. Oh, yeah? Do you have an accent? What? Do you have an accent? No. What is that? Nothing. Oh, that's just one of my companies. Do you see that? Stop. Do you see it? So you're, like, famous? Nah, I, I do a couple things. What do you do for <laughs> yes. work? Are you a model? Obviously, stupid question, right? How do we, um... I need this. Oh, you're getting a little hot? Yeah, I'm dying already. Got it. All right, so we're uh... Like, I hate to cut you off, but a lot of people have been sending me positive messages about you. They're happy that you, you're looking out for me. You see them going through a tough time, and I'm helping you out in return. I'm keeping you away from stuff that is tempting Like to what, you. Jeff? Like what? Stuff like what? Assuming Just... that people know everything about me. Jeff, where are we going to go with this one? An addict sees an addict. Oh, you know, I know. Oh, I know. so I'm an addict now. Okay. <laughs> what, now you're in denial? David, David. <laughs> Go walk with them. He knows so much about me. Maybe she didn't know that. Yo, bro, you wrote a book about how you did heroin. She can't read, bro. You, you think, think, you think that? she's not going to look at it? You put everything out on the internet. You sold your soul. You sold your privacy, pal. Yeah, for those fucking NFTs. Come on, let's go. Let's get out of here. Leave him. Let him cry. You ever see the brand deals he gets? I'm talking about erectile dysfunction. I don't... <laughs> Yeah, I guess it works, whatever, but I've never experienced it. I'm working strong, you know, healthy. I'm a bull. I'm a young bull, right, David? You want me to get you a little scooter or something? I'm like, we can carry you. So we can put oh, you... Oh, y'all are, are teamed up now. To be honest with you, I hate your sunglasses. I think you should get some new ones. We should okay. go sunglass shopping. Next. <laughs> After okay. that. Oh, y'all setting up second. After that. After the hike. They're aerodynamic. I use them to go fast. You I know, know but it boring. makes you look kind of funny. I like looking funny. I'm crazy. <laughs> My heat's a little break. All the way to the top. I'm racing all the way to the top. Another one bites the dust, I guess, man. Seen this one before, and uh, so we got our answer. Okay, so as you guys know, I don't do a lot of voiceover, but here's some really cute dogs and a little story I want to tell. Right when we were done with our hike, we found this dog. We got to save this dog. Look how skinny he is. This is what they do here, people. They bring their dogs that they don't want up here, and they leave them here hoping that somebody will take them. Oh, no, he's got Come no on. tag on, right? So we fished this dog off the side of the mountain. We tried to give it water. We were trying to find out where its owner was. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. it was down there going off the cliff. Right, come on, buddy. We'll get, we're going to get you some food, okay? Right on, man. You got a good heart. The guy goes, right on, brother. You got a good heart. I turn to Kyle, and I'm like, he's doing it for clout. You think he's going to write a book about it? Yeah, he's going to add this to... <laughs> You're gonna add this to the next book, Mike? This is one of those situations in life where honestly I may end up keeping the yeah. sucking dog. And then out of nowhere comes this guy saying he's the owner. Yep. Yeah, man. Wow. Judah. No oh, way. Thank God. What happened? You know, How'd you lose her? What? I didn't lose her. We found her. Going down the hill. She, what? You had her. No. Nope. She was going down the hill eating plants and shit, That's falling straight, off the man. falling off the cliff. What is that supposed to mean? Got what? Ticks all over. Why is this dog going off the side? We could teach him a fucking not to do the fucking we shit. We gotta go down this way anyway, come on. Wait, what do you say? Called you cornballs? Yeah. Okay, apologize for it. Alright, fine, I'm sorry. Alright, cool. Is your dog? Uh, his dog, we were worried about it. Cool. It's got ticks on it. Is that why y'all left her? We didn't leave her, she walks with us. Hey, y'all, they got her. They're like, yo, they like, yo, what do you say? No, he called us cornballs, so I just wanted to follow you. I was gonna try that kick out. <laughs> no, I was gonna drill him. <laughs> It's just another day in the life of Mike and Jeff. The adventures of Mike and Jeff. What will they get into next? Last week, somebody told me about this place called Proudly Serving. It's like an hour and a half south of LA in a place called Redondo Beach. Crazy pier, bars, restaurants, churros. Jeff was just flirting with the girl at the counter. What was That's her name? That's not true. She said her boyfriend was a fan of my barbershop show. It was a misunderstanding. We FaceTimed the boyfriend. I wasn't flirting on her. But then why'd you get her number then? I didn't. I took a picture with her, bro. I know we haven't tasted the burger yet. And I don't want to jump the gun, but from the scenery, I already give it a 10 out of 10. I don't wanna, you gotta stop with the 10 wanna, out of 10. I don't want to jump the gun. Hold that. And sure. they asked me, they said, Sir, do you have an allergy to onions? And I was like, No, it's actually not an allergy, it's just childhood trauma. My father used to beat me with a sack of onions when I was a kid. Double patties, kind of smash, but a little bit thicker smash. Big, thick, 
pickles. Tell me, tell me on the way over here. This could be number one. I can tell already this will be a contender just by looking at it. Look, look at that burger. <laughs> then, just to make things even harder for me, they have tots. You guys know if there's tots on the fucking menu, it's automatically uh, automatic bump up. They Take a nice people. whiff of that ocean air. Wow. Oh my god, I can't believe number one. Best one of all time. 10 out of 10. And I can't believe I got to be here for it. It's got a much thicker American cheese than a lot of the places you could see it. The roll is just on the right side of soft. They got the butter on it. You can see the butter and the crispy nature. I gotta try these tots. I gotta try these tots right now. Phenomenal airy. I don't give a fuck what Mike says. This You've is... rated the last eight places that we went, on, went to 10 out of 10. To get a 10 out of 10 from you, you just gotta put something on a roll. You're right, I don't give a fuck that much. <laughs> but uh, I don't wanna bump into that guy in a dark alley and he's like, you said my shit was a nine. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Proudly serving Redondo Beach. First of all, from a backdrop standpoint, look at this, dude, the boats. It makes me feel like I'm back on the East Coast. What are we, in Venice, Italy? Why don't you just sit the next couple plays out, man? I'm gonna say, proudly serving, I'm gonna give it a 9.1. Oh, this is 0.5 below Burger She Wrote? It's still phenom phenomenal. You're a dick rider. You got some sort of in over there at Burger She Wrote where you're getting paid under the table? I've always said this, nine and above is subjective, whatever you like. When have you ever seen me complete a meal? That baby's a 10 out of 10, best I've ever had. 9.1 Redondo Beach, definitely come check it out. It's worth the drive. And, and the girl at the front at the register, she's very sweet. She is in a relationship though, but it's a good taste in YouTube videos. <laughs> While we were doing the burger review, these dudes rolled up on a, like a little cart. What do y'all do, by the way? Dude, we do everything, all right? 360, <laughs> buddy. All day, every day, you know? So I'm gonna give them the opportunity to be the first person to ever have done it. They're gonna sign off today's night shift. This is the end of the episode, as you guys know. Thanks so much for working late with us. We're clocking now. You know, I was talking to my people and I was like, look, you gotta get me out of this contract. It's getting too crazy. I can't eat these many burgers. They suck. But this one's phenomenal. And I'm back in, baby. Renegotiate my contract. I want 14 fucking obligated burger reviews. Fuck you, David.